Good morning guys. Rob and I are about to pop out of the house this morning. It's Sunday morning and we're hoping to just have a little bit of a slow start before we come back home and start to complete some jobs. So last night Rob was actually so funny. He had the football up on the projector on the wall in the landing when he was painting the ceiling so that he could watch the match whilst he was painting the ceiling. I mean, one of the most boring jobs ever, so I don't blame him whatsoever. But I went out this morning and it looks so, so good. So one of the things about getting the ceilings done is you get that instant dopamine hit when all of your ceilings are smooth. But then that only lasted a little while because when you then start to live with it, all of your ceilings are really dark and it can feel quite heavy and dark in the rooms. So then the next dopamine hit is painting all of them white. And we've done a few rooms now, we've done a few room makeovers, but some of the larger spaces like the landing and the hallway still needed to be painted. So it just feels so, so good. The landing is done now. So I went out this morning. I mean, it's a mist coat, but still. I'm just putting some hair elixir in my hair because my hair's been so dry recently. I haven't been oiling it. My ends of my hair were so ratty. So my hairdresser told me that I have to put some hair oils in. So I just used the Cocoa and Eve hair elixir. It's really good. Anyway, yeah, so really excited to start to think about the landing makeover. Um, so that's exciting. We're also doing the guest bedroom makeover this coming week. So today is a day that I need to go online and order all my materials to get delivered throughout the week so that I can complete it. But yeah, and then today, this morning, we're gonna go to the garden center because we haven't been in ages. The weather's so nice and they've got a really nice like canteen restaurant there and that they do really, really nice breakfast. It's actually called Blue Diamond in I if you've never been before. It's a really good garden center, I love it. Um, and I'm just really excited for that time of year to come around when I get to go out into the garden and escape. And truly it just does something for my mind. I feel so good when I get outdoors and I get fresh air. I can put a podcast in or just think honestly and not have to do things that overstimulate me and my body. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. I also am gonna try to have a look at some greenhouses so that's exciting. And with that being said, I wanted to talk to you guys about therapy. Now, a few months ago, you might remember if you watched this video, um, I opened up and it was really quite a scary video for me because I didn't know how it was going to take, but you guys were so, so lovely to me and I really appreciate all the comments on that video. I read them all the time. They make me feel so happy and so loved. So thank you. But I opened up with my struggles with PMDD and how it can actually be really debilitating. Um, so if you don't know, PMDD is premenstrual um, dysphoric disorder. It usually happens 10 days in their cycle before their period comes where their hormones just like are blown way out of whack and they become overstimulated, severely emotional, and it's just really difficult to live with because for me, it ended up with me kind of being in bed for prolonged periods of time, not wanting to do any work, really standing in my own way and um, becoming really self-sabotaging because I, I would get in my own head and like tell myself these awful thoughts and stuff and it's just out of my control. Didn't know what it was for ages, spoke to a doctor and ended up going to therapy which was really helpful and was another suggestion that you guys made and I am not someone that shies away from therapy. I think it is a brilliant tool. My friends and family around me, if they've gone through things, I've always been an ambassador to like challenge them to go and seek therapy and I really rally behind it. I think it's an amazing tool. It has helped me in a number of ways. So even aside from my PMDD stuff, there were some things that had happened in the last year that were quite hard to overcome with just me and just talking to friends and family. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I don't like to be a burden. I feel like I'm a fix it person for everyone. If you've got a problem, I want to help you. I will help you fix it. I will take on your emotional load and baggage. But for me, putting that onto other people, I find it really difficult. So for me, that outlet was going to therapy and it helped so, so much. I can't even begin to explain. So I'm really excited to say that this video is actually in paid partnership with BetterHelp. BetterHelp connects you to a credentialed therapist who is trained to listen to you, be helpful, and just give you unbiased advice. I like BetterHelp because you can do it over your phone or computer. You can do it through phone call, through messaging, or through video chat, whatever you're comfortable with. You'll be matched to a therapist that suits you usually within 48 hours and you can actually specify what kind of therapy you're looking for, what kind of help you need. So let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist that can support you. Go to betterhelp.com forward slash Sade Shannon or you can choose Sade Shannon when you sign up and you can enjoy a special discount during your first month. I really hope that helps some of you out there. I know talking can be really scary but it
that it's really, really important. So be brave and take the plunge. But yeah, thank you so much for all of your advice for me over the last couple of months as well. It has not gone unseen and you have helped me in ways that you can't even imagine. So thank you. Anyway, let's get to the garden centre and see what they've got. I really want to have a look at some greenhouses because I'm considering getting a real one this year. Like not a plasticky one, <laughs> a glass one. <laughs> So I got the luxury hot chocolate. So did I say you didn't get me what? marshmallows? She didn't actually ask me anything else. She didn't even ask. Nah, I just ordered a, a luxury hot chocolate. And then look at this plate that it's on. We're just waiting for our full Englishes now. Bloody hell, that pepper comes out quick. Is that breakfast? This is the light breakfast. Oh, oh, that salt comes out so quick. This is warm, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so this is a new one. I don't know what it's called or the price, but this is what I've kind of got my eyes on. I love this wood and green combination as well. But yeah, it's got a couple of shelves, a couple of roof vents, and then I'll show you the sliding door. It's so pretty. You come out. <laughs> oh, it must be this brand, Alton, but it's got a sliding door that you can also lock. Um, it's really pretty. That's kind of what I'm looking for, but I reckon it'd be expensive. But yeah, they've got loads. So they've got this all aluminium one. Again, there's no price. This one over here, this is quite big. sets of slabs either side of the patio we've got some gravel in between and i'm hoping to fit it in the gravel part in the middle but we haven't measured it so i don't actually know how big it is we can take the measurements of this one though and then just compare it when we get home yeah, we'll do that. guys i've made a very exciting but very unexpected purchase i've been drawn in hook line and sinker by the sales guy <laughs> no he was great he's called afonso and he works yeah, at the peterborough good. blue diamond garden center for the greenhouse people yeah. unreal but this is the greenhouse that i'm just no, it's this one. <laughs> Can't see it on the viewfinder. to this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's got finials. It's a sage pastel grey uh, green colour. And let me show you the inside. It's so nice. Do you want to yeah, yeah. um, help me do a little video? So, this is it. It's got a gorgeous sliding door. I did buy the X display model. So, this is already nearly two years old but it's still really good condition um, and it saved me a lot of money so um it has got this shelving included which is great it also has pre-drilled hooks in here so that i can put hanging baskets or i can tie up vines so if i'm growing grapes or tomatoes or something they can grow up the side of the greenhouse it also has um two roof vents which automatically open and close depending on how hot it is so there's something to do with wax inside this cylinder that automatically allows them to move yeah it expands with the heat so the hotter it is the more it expands which opens the which opens them which is so clever i didn't realize i thought you had to manually do it i'm glad i asked because i would have been going like trying to <laughs> open it and close it over time then you also get this little side window vent the good thing about it is because you build it yourself, you can actually customise where you put things. So he said you could put that up there, you could put it on this pane, you could put it over here. I think I'll probably leave it here though. Um, and unfortunately you don't get the seedling trays. They're really nice. I tried to get them to include it in the package, but he rang his regional manager and they said no, because it's already such a good price, but that's fine. Um, I also went for the slightly bigger one. This one is six foot four by eight foot six um i was looking at one over there which is slightly smaller but i just feel like this has got ample amounts of room and i'm not going to be constricted um obviously i loved gardening last year i think i'm going to get into it even more this year so i won't be constricted in like growing with the greenhouse so it's kind of future proofing it for myself it also has um toughened glass which i'm not going to bang it but like you think this would break but he like slammed his hand on should i do it he went like oh, I'm scared he went like that and it didn't break he didn't, weigh it? Hard he didn't weigh I actually like 
poop my pants when he did it because I wasn't expecting it but that's how tough the glass is he also said that you can jet wash this glass which is great because jet washes are quite high pressure pressure wash them and um, so it's again not going to break the glass but it will really really clean the panes and all of the growth of um, moss and stuff growing between the panes um, and it's also got a nine year guarantee and oh yeah it's got a gutter on the side so I'm going to be able to actually attach my water butt to that gutter as well I'm just so excited and then it's got the finials on the outside and it's just gorgeous pastel sage green colour I just can't actually believe that it's mine um, and we got it for a really good discount so it feels even better but yeah really nice treat to myself for the year I'm not buying anything else but this is my treat and I can't wait to start the garden diaries this year guys I'm back from the garden centre and I have just treated myself to a greenhouse I actually can't believe it I think I filmed a little bit of it for you so you can see what it's going to look like I'm obsessed it was honestly a really big treat I feel very grateful that I'm even able to get something like that um but I never ever really treat myself to like big things like that and I just thought it's going to be such a heavily used thing over the summer for me considering how much time I spent in the garden last year and my intentions of gardening this year as well it's just going to elevate everything for me and I ended up getting a slightly more kitted out version so it's got shelves built in it's got like a hanging basket rail it's got a couple of the automated roof vent openers and stuff um so for a beginner gardener it's probably a little bit lavish but I am intending on really studying and getting into things and really making good use of it so I hope that I can do that this summer so exciting also really good service because you pay a 10% deposit I was expecting to pay everything on the spot but it's just a deposit which is good and they hold it for you as long as you need so up to a year because I'm not in a state ready to get it installed just yet um, I'm actually going to go out to the garden now and just double measure and make sure it's going to fit because we kind of eyeballed it and we were like yeah it should fit but I want to make sure that it is going to fit because I don't want to have to dig anything out or do any more real manual labour with that and also if we do change our minds they said that we can actually cancel and get our deposit back as well they don't struggle selling these things I tried to get him to give me a discount I was like what's your best price I'm quite a haggler and he was laughing he was like honestly like we just don't struggle to sell them so like they, I can already see online there's like people who are basically bidding on it or something or they've put in a bid for what they'd like and the price that they'd offer for it or something and he was like we just wouldn't struggle so and I tried to get some freebies and they were like really sorry regional manager says no I'm not shy when it comes to things Things like that some people may be I'm not if you don't ask you don't get I didn't get and I'm not dead it's fine you know what I mean so anyway really exciting um, I think in a couple of weeks I'm gonna ring him and be like Afonso send me my greenhouse and then um, me and Rob will just make sure that we've got a bit of a patio laid because it does need to sit on something because it's not got a base so the one that I got actually has to sit on a base so that you get a couple of different styles you get like top range which is incredible but like ten thousand pounds then you get mid-range which i think is the one that i've got which was called hercules and then you get the lower range which is still unreal but it's called it's like the standard range it's called simplicity um, and that was really really nice hello darling hello. thank you wait wait i'll just put it on there yeah. right i've decided what i'm actually going to do because it's sunday yeah i'm going to play on my playstation for an hour chill out have a coffee and then when the match is on, I'm, that's when I'll come off and I'm going to put the match on and paint at the same time. Yeah. I think that's a good plan. Good plan. So we're going to get gonna the be... landing ceiling finished. I'll get the bedroom as a priority. And bedroom. I'll get the bedroom done. To put him. Get the bedroom done first. Well, whatever happens today, that will be finished. Yeah. I'm going to chill for a little bit. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. So you get a couple of different ranges the lowest one is simplicity but it's still really good quality it's got the hardened glass everything so it's really really good quality greenhouses they're from the greenhouse people so they probably have their own website um also in the garden center i picked up these two beautiful vases let me bring them a bit closer they are made to look aged i've got this kind of urn vessel and then this taller vase and it's got this kind of like tea tea bag staining on it don't know if you can see it looks like it's got kind of like wear and tear but you know me and my white and blue patterns and they just spoke to me nine pounds 99 each what for a garden center as well normally oh, i thought you were taking your pants off third i was getting confused <laughs> i can do if you want <laughs> no thanks normally the garden center stuff is quite pricey so i was really surprised i thought these would be about 30 to 50 each but they were 9.99 
I actually couldn't believe how expe uh, uh, how non expensive they were. I know. So normally, when you tell me you bought something like that, it's like some extortionate price. But when you no, spend I don't like, spend extortionate amounts of money on things like this. No. I never ever have. No, but when you said they were ten hours, I was like, yeah, fine, go yeah, get them. Because I normally would go to Home Sense and get stuff like this for this sort of price. So that's why I was like, oh wow. But yeah, really like those as well. So that was a nice treat. But anyway, no, nice. today we are looking at carpet samples finally comes the time for new carpets in the house. Um, Rob and I actually just went on Rob's lunchtime to a local flooring company called Tika Flooring. Uh, it's in Fengate in Peterborough if you're interested, but it's really, really nice family run business and the guys were super, super helpful. I basically went in and I was like, I need this done ASAP. I'm looking for carpets. I've got a budget. I would like quite good underlay. This is the style I like, blah, blah, blah. And they were really accommodating. So shout out to them for giving us a hand. They also let me take home some carpet samples of some of the ones that I actually really like the look of. Of course, we're gonna be going for like a grayish beige kind of flooring color. Um, we're definitely not doing anything as bright as some of the ones on this board. Um, but I do want to get something that's a little bit brighter than the current carpet, a little bit fluffier and it's got a better underlay because when we've been tearing up the floor from here, we've realised they must have put a new carpet in, but it's like paper thin, so it would have just been like the cheapest available. It's basically directly on the hardwood, so it feels horrible when you walk on it. But yeah, there's zero underlay basically, so it's going to feel like so extravagant and dreamy when we finally get some carpet in. We're not even going to go for anything super expensive either. So when we went to Carpet Right the week before, we found some really lovely carpets, but they were just kind of really out of our price range um, for the moment and for, for this house. I ended up actually finding some really good prices. I think lowest carpets were like 12 quid. I think this one might have been like 17. And I think these ones are like 19 per square meter, which is kind of the price range we were hoping for. And then he's gonna do us an underlay for seven pounds a square meter. And then the fitting is on top, which I think is a couple of hundred pounds. So it is gonna end up quite an expensive project, but of course we're getting all of the flooring done in the upstairs of the house, which is just gonna be so nice. He also said that these carpets are ones that you can use bleach on. So I think they're like poly something. I can't remember what he used the name of, of it that he used for them. But they're by Cormac, which is like a relatively nice company. So I've got the Sensations, which is the colour palette that I like. And then I also picked up the Sensation Heathers. So these are the colour palettes I'm kind of leaning towards. We've got the Sensation Heathers, Sensation, and then the Caress one over there. Now, initially my favourite colour that I'd picked out was this Champagne one by Caress, and this is a slightly cheaper one, but when I brought it outside, it did come across quite gray. Now I'm wondering, with the color palette of our house, that does go, go quite nicely. It is coming across quite gray, um, but when I flip over the board, they've got some of their other ranges in here. So that's Champagne. They've actually got this one called Cotton, which is a little bit warmer, but still lovely and bright, and it's way brighter than the current carpet that we've got down. And when I put it next to this one, next to the wardrobe here, it's kind of nice. I really like it. Anyway, so that's that one. That's our cheapest option available. And then we started looking at these sensation ones. And then I had originally opted for this. Now, this reminds me of the carpet at my mum and dad's house, which I absolutely love so much. But mum and dad do say it is quite a nightmare to keep tidy because you do have to you know keep on top of it it shows up all kinds of dirt and debris which is a good thing because it means you tidy it up more mum has said that um she has to run the rug doctor over it a little bit more but i mean that would go so nicely in all of our rooms it's such a gorgeous color it looks so nice against here and i just know in the rest of the bedrooms it would look super super lovely too so yeah it's just something to consider but this is the color ice and sugar which is lovely. And then I also liked this color, which is Ventura Opal. Now you can see it's got a lovely warmth to it and it's a lot more warm than the gray color over there. And it's obviously a lot warmer and a bit darker than this color here, but it's still a lovely amount lighter than the current carpet we've got down. We'd actually add that warmth around the house that I really like as well. I think this is still a really lovely color actually, but it's a little bit too dark. This one is Monterey Sand. This one is a little bit too gray and so is this one, but that is Mother of Pearl 
and ammonite. In store, this one looks a little bit lighter. I thought, I thought, oh, ammonite looks like the colour, but having brought it home, it does seem like it's just a little bit too grey. And then the Sensation Heathers book, which is a separate. I don't know, line, um, but they're actually the same price, he said. They do have a couple of colours in here. Now, the difference between these ones is it's got a, got a flecking in it. So a flecking is this kind of light dusting you can see, whereas this is all one consistent colour. This has got flecks of light and dark in it. Having a look again, this one's too grey and so is this one, but actually this one's quite nice. So I'm going to flick back the ones that we definitely don't want to use. Okay, I don't know if you can see as well here because it's picking up on the camera, but I really like this one on the left. It is the perfect blend of a white creamy colour with a bit of warmth underneath but still could work with some grey elements. It will look lovely with walnut colours which is what I'm using a lot through the house and brasses. I don't even mind the caress one to be honest. I think when you stand back and look it doesn't look as grey as it did initially. I love this one. Okay I'm going to try it in the office now. Okay, so I've just kind of put the books on the floor here. It might be quite hard to see what I'm trying to visualise, but because this is quite a dark room, I've painted it quite dark, obviously. You can barely see it. Uh, it's only got a small window and a lot of the furniture and the paint in here is quite dark. Now, with the dark coloured floor at the minute, it's not terrible, but I think this will really help to lighten up the room. That's the cotton one, which is a little bit cheaper but it does feel like it's actually still quite close to the colour of this carpet. Even though in the wardrobe room it feels a lot lighter. I think it would appear lighter, like if we saw a before and after of this room next to each other, you could see the difference. But I think this one is really gonna give us that difference that I'm looking for. Oh, I'm really happy about that. So Sensation Heathers by Korma Carpet Co. And this is in the colour Almond Mousse. It's a two-fold 1.7 tog. You can get it in four and five meters and you can actually clean this one with bleach um as well so if i do spill anything on it it shouldn't be the end of the world but yeah we're going to head out to b q now because we need to finish this side of the room and there's no skirting there so i'm quickly measuring up just about how much skirting we'll need one meter this is about two meters about two three so we'll say four meters for this room i think Rob's got some in his office as well. It's not very much at all. It's literally the smallest amount ever. It's literally like the smallest amount. It's from there to there. So that's probably another meter. So we'll say in total five meters for skirting. And I'm going to go to the garage and bring off cut that we've got of the skirting so that we can get the exact same one. But I hope that they do it in B&Q. I think that they do. Oh no, I've ripped up my... Um that was tape from the other room because I'd taped out where I was going to put furniture, but I've kicked it out. So I'm in B and Q, and I'm looking for one called Taurus, which is the MDF and primed. This one, yes, that does look like our skirting. Um, we've brought a cut off, so I'm going to get Rob when he comes in the shop in a second, and we're just going to test it. But it looks like they've got it. And the guy gave us some tips, and he said buy the prime stuff, not the wood stuff, because else you've got to sand it, prime it, paint it, undercoat it, all of that stuff. Whereas this one, I can just give it its top coat finishing coat seems like it's about 20 16 pounds for 2.4 meters and i think we're going to need about five so we're going to get two of these pack of two is 32 pound 54 so that's what we're going to grab do you hold it up to that one please bubba so i think this is the one no 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 oh no completely different oh no Oh dear, okay. This one. No. No, no. It's got a bit of a dip in it, hasn't it? It's not one of these. Oh no, it's one of these. I think, yeah, he thought it was this Taurus song because it does look really similar, but it's got a little bit more of a dip. So, oh no. Oh no, okay, we're going to have to maybe. Oh, there's more over here. Not that one. Oh, is it this one? No. Yeah, it is. It's not. Oh, it's not. I think it's o this OG one, but it's not as, um... Oh, no, I might have to order it online. That could be a problem. Right, we're going to see if we can find it. If not, we'll have to order online. So, we went to B&Q, but it turns out the skirting that they've got there is not quite the skirting we need, which is a little bit annoying because, in all honesty, I was just hoping to just grab that today and not have to faff on. Um, I've contacted a company called Skirting World,
and they can help you figure out what skirting you've got but you've got to send them a sample I asked them if I could send them an email instead and just kind of get them to just look at it as a picture um, and they said they'd have a look at it but it might not be 100% accurate which is fair enough so I don't I don't really know what to do kind of in I'm always within like a time frame that I'm trying to stick to so kind of need this done sooner rather than later but if I send it off to them it will take maybe a couple of days and then for them to tell me and then for me to order it is another couple of days and this time next week pretty much is when we're getting the carpet fitted so I just don't think it's going to work out in my timing so I think what I'm going to do is tonight I'm going to sit online and trawl the internet and try and see if I can find a suitable skirt in otherwise what I might do with that room because the one in BQ looks so so similar I might end up just ripping off the old skirting using um, off cut from there to fill in the gapage from Rob's office and then just putting down the similar skirting from B&Q it might just save me a bit of hassle it'll cost me a little bit more money which is not really something I wanted to do I'm really trying my best to budget on these rooms as much as possible especially because in that room it's it's larger than my office and I want to do panelling and um, like a picture rail and stuff in there as well but yeah um, that's where we're at anyway I'm currently on the way to um, an area near me called Whittlesea because I have managed to get myself the biggest bargain ever so I'm gonna go and collect a garden arch it's not a rounded arch it's like a square arch but I essentially have this vision for my garden this year to have two huge vegetable containers with an arch between them so that sweet peas and garden peas whatever grows upwards and climbs up can climb up on the arch and gather around the top even like pumpkins or something would be amazing but yeah that's the vision that I have for the garden this year so I have been on the hunt online for about a week now to try and see if I could find some nice garden arches and they do do them in places like my local um, building merchants and stuff but they don't necessarily look the best quality and they're quite expensive because the price of wood these days is ridiculous isn't it uh, so I thought well let me just have a look on Facebook marketplace something popped up in the area but it's obviously just huge my friend's partner actually is a builder of sorts and he has one of those kind of vans that the top it hasn't got like a top so it's not a closed van it's like an open top van with a really big space that you could dump stuff in so I kindly asked him and he kindly agreed that he would meet me there and we're gonna load it up on his van and we're gonna drive it to my house hello guys it's been a couple of days since I last vlogged from what I remember we were on our way to go and get something from Facebook marketplace which was the garden arch picked that up managed to get a really good deal 70 pounds instead of one that I now that I felt it and how robust it is, it's like made of a really good thick wood. I would say it was probably in the hundreds of pounds that they paid for that. I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing because I was looking at some of those online the week before and I just didn't want to pay that much just yet. So I'm really happy that I found it on Facebook Marketplace for a bargain price. My best friend's partner helped us get it from um, a village nearby just because he's got a massive truck thing so he brought it back to ours and then him and Rob unloaded it and took it into the garden I've just put it on the patio in the garden for now just because I want to give it a good bit of a clean I'm going to jet wash it treat it and seal it and all of that good stuff because it's really good wood and I know that it could be with us for a long time if I treat it well so I want to maybe condition it a little bit um, but yeah the plan for that is in the garden somewhere I need to figure out where I'm going to put it but I want to build two vegetable patches next to it with the arch in the middle and I want to grow some climbers up the side of it so yeah that's really exciting another exciting thing you would have seen in the video I bought myself a greenhouse that was honestly really a um impulsive decision and I have said that I'm not really an impulsive spender but I took my plastic greenhouse out of the garage the other day and I tried to set it up in the garden and it had fallen to bits bless it barely even lasted one year I mean I did leave it out in the wind but people did warn me as well on Instagram you guys were like Shade, I'm just gonna let you know you need to secure that down because if <laughs> even the slightest bit of wind gets to that Woo, and it would just end up in the craziest positions in our garden <laughs> and yeah it ended up broken so I put it in the garage to try and keep it as 
clean and safe as I could over winter, but it's a goner. It's it's rusted. It's broken. A lot of the, the plastic and the metal poles are broken. So we were meant to just go and have a look at the garden centre greenhouses, but I ended up getting talking to one of the sales guy guys and he um, was lovely and he was explaining in so much detail to me about all of the greenhouses. And eventually I just had my heart set on one that was a um x display so you can get a really good price on x display ones if you're willing to have one that's been there for a year or so but i obviously you know i'm like i inspected it within an inch of its life and it looks pretty good so they're holding that for me at the minute they'll hold it for up to a year they said and um i got the instructions on how to build it in the post today with like my confirmation and invoice and everything so it feels really real but i'm not in a position to um, get it set up in the garden just yet it's still a little bit cold for me to go outside but also we have got quite a lot of work to do on the inside of the house that I want to get done so on Friday today's Tuesday Friday we're getting the carpets fitted which is really exciting but I've got skirting boards to complete and paint before the carpets go down because you don't want to do that after your carpets go in you want to do that before obviously so you don't mess up your lovely new carpets with paint so yeah, I've got lots of skirting boards to do and then the carpets are going in and then I want to get the guest bedroom finished. Rob's mum and dad are coming to stay with us at the end of the month, uh, end of March. And I just want a room that is like hotel feel, really cosy, home away from home, somewhere they can finally have a good night's sleep because bless them, they have been so patient with us, but we, every time they came to visit us, it was a mattress on the floor situation and obviously we're very grateful to have a roof over our heads and be in a warm house full stop however i was getting a little bit embarrassed at making my guests sleep on the floor every time they came to visit so yeah it is without a shadow of a doubt that i'm excited to get that guest bedroom finito so yeah that's next on the list i know that you're gonna be excited for that one obviously you know the vibes that i'm going for in the house so we'll have to see what happens over that way in the guest room but i've got i've got pretty much a plan already i think we're actually going to do wallpaper which i haven't done in this house yet and i do when i get a good wallpaper i like it so i'm hoping that's going to look nice i also just got a delivery i mean i've already opened it i was going to unbox it with you on the camera but i've already um opened it it's my blind for my office so this is from 24 7 blinds this is a roman blind and it is the mm, i haven't put it on here i think it's called the foxton foxton something or other color and you might be able to tell it's this really perfect blend of a like grazy warmer toned blind but it's got a lot of white going through it so it's still really bright and um yeah it's a roman blind which i've never had one of these before in any of our homes and it is due to go on that window so let's put it up and see what it looks like sorry this is really annoying that the the light from here always seems to just create such an issue like if there's ever a window behind me in any of my scenes it just blows out the whole picture and i'm not very good with cameras so i have no idea how to fix that so i'm sorry um but i'm hoping you can see it for the most part here now so this blind it's tied up on one side but eventually when i install it which isn't going to be today it'll look a little something like this i mean i know that doesn't look the best <laughs> i'm really struggling to get a good picture of this for you but it's going to look a little something like this and do you know what it's really really nice i really like it i'm happy with that choice if you are wondering which blind that is that is the foxford rambouillet which is this one, Foxwood Rambouillet. Really lovely. And it comes with a, um, as a standard, it comes with a white lining, but you can get it black out as well. When I get that up on the window, this is going to be the first room I think I've ever completed, like fully 100% completed. <laughs> like there's not one thing that I need to do to this room to make it 100%. And that never happens for me. I see it online a lot um, as a, like a joke online especially women that have ADHD starting multiple projects when they haven't finished one before. And this, I have to say, will be the first ever one. The only thing is the door, but I'm gonna just do all of the doors in one go when I decide what I'm doing with them. Everything else, finished. So proud of myself. I'm a new person. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Now in the next one, I think, 
I've got a couple of videos going on out at once, so I don't know if it's gonna be the garden video or if it'll be another vlog, but um, I will be starting the guest bedroom makeover this week. I'm gonna try and vlog alongside it so that you don't have to wait too long for it. I will also release that as an, you know, end to end bedroom makeover, which is exciting. If you don't already, follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, lots of love, bye.